Let's mount up. Hey guys, uh, so now we've got our nice rusty weathered lanterns here. Um, and I want to show you how to get them wired up and turn them into these cool flickering LED lanterns. Okay, so here's the components that I'm using to wire these up. Uh, I've got two pre-wired flicker LEDs. Uh, I decided to use two of them just to make them a little bit brighter. Uh, and I thought it looked kind of neat just to have the um, secondary flickering pattern in there. I don't know, it, just look, it looks uh, a little bit more realistic to me. So I'm going to use two of those guys. Um, got some wire here. On the end of that, I'm using um, RCA jacks for my power supply. Uh, so I've got a jack that will go on there. And uh, we've got a couple wire nuts, a zip tie, and that's pretty much it. So let's put it together. Okay, so these lanterns are pretty basic. They were kerosene lanterns. Uh, so they've got, uh, got the globe taken out of here. Uh, they've got a little mechanism that uh, brings the little thing here up and down. Um, and they've got uh, this little device here which was used to control the wick. Uh, that hooks on here, underneath here, and then this uh, goes up. Maybe if it's been rusted shut. There we go. Uh, that goes up, and that's what holds the globe into place. So, basically what we're going to do is mount these LEDs uh, into the wick holder, and uh, it actually worked out perfect. It's got a little slot there uh, that these slide right into. So I just wanted to give you a close-up shot of the wick holder. You can see uh, there's basically a slot underneath. It goes right through, and so this actually is perfect for mounting and holding the LEDs. Okay, so take your LEDs. Go ahead and thread the wires down through the wick holder. Should come out the bottom. Got that one. And these are great because they have the little a little pre-wired section here with the resistor uh, gets a little bulk so it holds a little bit better. Let's get the other one in there. Okay. All right, so we got those guys in there. And then I'll go ahead and put a little zip tie to hold these. Uh, you could also, I was thinking about using um, hot glue maybe on the underside or on top there to hold them in place. Try to kind of get them fairly equal there. If you go too tight on the uh, zip tie, they'll start to spread out. And you want them to be facing upright as much as possible because I noticed on these guys, uh, they basically project a circle, uh, you know, which is the end of the LED. That'll be projected, like it's pretty apparent when you see that, so you want these guys aiming up so that way that little circle is going to the top of the lantern and on onto the glass because if it was pointing off to the sides it's going to show up on the glass and it's just going to look kind of weird um, and ruin the effect. So yeah, so just make sure that they're uh, nice and straight and pointing up right. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue to this just so that it keeps uh, the right height. That way uh, when it goes into the lantern uh, there's a little cutout here where the wick would normally go. I want to make sure that this height is correct and it's not sinking below that and uh, losing some of the light. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this in. Yeah, so those are nice and uh, solid in there. They're not going to slip down and move out of place. And they'll stay upright so that the <coughs> LEDs are facing the right way. And that'll work really well. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in the lantern uh, for the wire. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do it on the bottom back side of the lantern here, uh, just in, underneath this lip. And then that'll route the, I'll be able to route the cable through there and then out through the uh, top of the tank. So let me go ahead and do that. And there you can see the hole I've got drilled for the wire. Okay, now I'm going to take my wire, route it through the new hole, and it's going to come out the top of the tank here. So bring that through, just like that. All right. Now what I'll go ahead and do is strip these wires. Those, uh, now these pre-wired LEDs uh, are already stripped here, a little bit short, so I think I'll take a little bit more off so there's more to work with. Alright, now I just got to wire these guys together. Got to get these wires stuffed down inside the tank here. Uh, it can be a little tricky. Make sure you don't lose anything here. So just shove these guys in here. Now this lantern, uh, this little wick holder thing, uh, it basically slides on, rotates on to connect. Kind of a pain getting everything out. That's what I okay. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, basically, what this does is make sure all the wires are in there. There's these little slots on here that it slides into. Okay. Yeah, so like this, that uh, turns, it slides in there. It's a little bit more difficult to put back together after we got it all rusted up. Uh, so you can see that there and this. Basically slides in. And push this down. Get this back. Oh yeah, there we go. See. All right, cool. Now you can see that the LEDs stick up there through the slot uh, where the wick would go. Here's a closer view of the LEDs that have been sticking up there through the slot. Since I'm using uh, RCA jacks as my power source, I'm going to go ahead and solder on uh, one of these RCA connectors here. This just unscrews and this is where I'm going to hook the wire up to. So I got the plug soldered on, and let's see if this works. There we go. Now I just need to put the globe on. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty cool, uh, definitely a nice effect. I'm really excited that these guys will just be able to be plugged in, uh, I don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. And let's give you a look at it in the dark.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Uh, if you have any questions about the steps or parts or anything like that, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll answer you. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. We've got more videos planned, uh, lots of cool stuff, hopefully, uh, as long as we get time to keep building stuff. So, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed.